I'm going to make you wait now because I know I'll be pegging for a fag. But I was, that's how I feel this morning when I was waiting for you to turn up. So, peg bitch, peg. Welcome to another vlog, guys. Um, proper excited today. Um, I purchased a new kayak probably around about two months ago. Um, and with the weather being so bad with all this um, beast from the east and all these um, heavy winds and hailstorms and um, flooded rivers and it's just been a complete no-no this the, this past couple of months um, and this is actually the first time I've actually uncovered my kayaks um, so yeah I bought this about two months ago um, I'm actually taking it out on a lake today um, for the first time um, it's known as Breaton. Um I've gone with a crossover kayak um, because I need something with great storage because so I need something that could hold my tent, um, sleeping bags, camera gear and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I also needed something that could cope with anything thrown at me, you know, class 1s, 2s, 3s, that kind of thing. It's designed for um, white water situations and it's also a touring kayak. Um, it comes with a skeg and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, just waiting for Dave. Um, Start waiting for Christmas, waiting for Dave. He's not very punctual when it comes to timekeeping. So he's still not here. Um, it's now 12 o'clock. Um, so theoretically, even if he forgot about the time, about the clocks going forward, he should really be here at 12 o'clock. Um, he still isn't here. Um, and the thing is, I guarantee, um, I'm saying it now, when he turns up and we attach everything and get the J bars on and the kayaks on the roof and run his way, it will not go straight there. I guarantee he will stop off at either McDonald's and get a coffee. I guarantee it. Two hours later. So, they finally turned up, as you can see. Um, like I predicted, it's not McDonald's, but it's a Subway, as you can see. Oh, that's it. Yeah, but you already complete. That's it, thank you. So Dave's gone in for another coffee at this petrol station. What? Not been here before, first time. Dude, it's a little hole. Uh -huh. Are you sure you have a kayak on here? Yeah. So where did we be see you two? So um, we've just turned up at Breaton um, and the rangers just basically come over to us and said that um, they don't allow kayaking on here any longer. They stopped it a couple of years ago. Um, so, God, I can't believe it. I'm proper disappointed. Um, it's a shame, really, because I don't know what I'm going to do now. I might go to Rudyard Lake. Um, so it looks like that might be the plan. So. We'll just see what happens. So me and David just had a chat and we've decided to go on um, the bottom part of the River Weaver. Um, it's got a ramp there so we can actually get in and out okay. Three hours later. So guys, finally made it onto the River Weaver after that um, bit of a muck up this morning. Um, see, kayaks are ready to go. We're going to head over that way there, um, takes us around there into the bigger lake and um, that should give me plenty of time to get things adjusted and exactly how I want them. Um, time's, actually, time's actually now getting on, it's about three hours later.
Does it feel like? Floaty. Does it? That's how it's done, dude. I'm just trying to find out what my limit is on this. You got your skeg down? Say again. I think it's um, had it. Yeah. So you got yours exactly where mine is on the second one. It's a floaty. Floaty? Yeah. It's filthy, ain't it? Disgusting here, man. It stinks as well. It's a glory, dude. Pardon? I asked you before when we're on the wheel, when we're on the top end. Well, you can have a more in here for free as long as you've got a caravan. You know how much is a caravan? It's, me, yeah. it's not going to be 900 quid a year, is it? That's what I've got. The half cabin one, the cock that one. Yeah. Troy. That's a cool name for a boat, isn't it? Troy. Mine's the best name. What time keep it? Soft. <laughs> Muddy paws. Time keeper you should that should be called time keeper. Clockwise. <laughs> Clockwise, yeah. <laughs> Say again. Another sunk boat, oh bloody hell, yeah. Oh dear. That's well and truly sunk. How deep is it here, Dave? Can you talk through the paddle? Yeah. I'm hoping this back softens up a bit. I'll tell you what, they move, don't they? Yeah, these boats definitely got some quick in them. Is that 210 paddle too short? Let me have a go of it. <laughs> I 
your paddle set at the opposite side as mine. Hey? Yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah, it's too short, this is, dude. What, you 30. Yours is at 45, isn't it? Look how cormorant's on there. Skags up. You're impressed, aren't you, by my steering skills? Sure, skag up. Oh, yours is down, is it? You want to be without the um, skag down. So guys, that's the end of this vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. It's something that I wouldn't have shown if it wasn't for these vlogs. Um, it was just nice to get a new boat out on the water, give it a bit of a test and um, just see how it feels. So now we're just waiting for some rivers, uh, waiting for this weather to pick up a little bit. Um, I think the next trip that we'll do will probably be uh, on the sea because uh, I still need to do that review with that um, dogfish um, sit on top kayak so I think that's the next, next um, thing on the agenda <laughs>